Given the diagram here, what's the measure of angle CAD? Pause the video for a second and see if you can figure it out and then hit resume when you're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do to figure this one out is we need to recognize that angle BAE is actually a straight angle or a straight line, which means it's a grand total of 180 degrees. And so I look at it and I think, well, this 132 and this 115, they're overlapping by some amount because together they're way too big to fit into 180 degrees. Let me show you what I mean. I've got this one angle right here, 132 degrees is this amount of rotation. Then I've got this other angle, 115 degrees of rotation. Now I'm gonna kind of draw it end to end. That's 115 degrees of rotation. Now if I added those two angles end to end, or if I rotated consecutively those two amounts, that's a grand total of 132 plus 115. That's 247 degrees of rotation, right? Now that's obviously more than 180. The key to figuring this problem out is realizing, well, how much more than 180 is it? So if I take that total 247 degrees of rotation and I subtract the 180 degrees that they sort of have to fit into, I can find out by how much they must overlap, right? End to end, it's 247, but they overlap by some amount to fit into that 180 degrees. 247 minus 180, uh, look at that. It's uh, 6, 7, 67 degrees is the amount they overlap. And so that means angle CAD here is 67 degrees. 67. Six, there we go. <laughs> If you like solving problems like this, if you like being challenged every week, make sure you smash the like or subscribe button so you can follow us and get notified when we post new problems and new content for you. That's this week's Think Fast. We'll see you next week.